Today we are talking my favorite lipsticks and lip liners. I'm going to swatch them for you guys. I'm going to do lip swatches so you can see what they look like on the eyes. And yeah, these are just my go-to faves. So if that sounds interesting to you, you know the drill. Let's go ahead and do the youtube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's just get stuck into it. Lipsticks and lip liners. Now I'm not going to talk about lip glosses in this video. I'm going to do lip glosses in a separate video because to be honest with you, I am 120 million percent a gloss girl. I have a thing for glosses. I have a lot of them and I have some strong opinions. So they need to be a separate video. But lipsticks and lip liners are a little bit more curated for me. And the reason for that being is I don't tend to kind of fangirl over lipsticks and lip liners. Lip liners are a slowly becoming a thing for me because I really love the way that you can put a lip liner on and it just really has that soft lasting power. It doesn't wear away awkwardly or anything like that. Um, but lipsticks, you know, you have to be a special kind of lipstick for me to really vibe with you and for me to even like use you up, go through you or even want to purchase you in the first place. So I'm going to go through like my faves with you. Let's do lip liners first because I don't have many of those. And then uh, we will get into the lipsticks. And like I said, I will show you guys what those products look like on my lips and everything as well as we're talking. So the first lip liners that I have to talk about are absolutely the ColourPop lip liners. I just have my two favorite shades here, which is BFF and Oh Snap. So these are hands down my favorite shades. They are my most used shades. I love the ColourPop lip liners. I think a lot of people rave about the ColourPop lip liners. Honestly, I also have to talk about, which is a spoiler alert, the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners in Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk, and these are 100% a dupe for those products. So on here we've got BFF, and then we've got Oh Snap. And these are like my, I only need two lip liners in my collection, you guys, and these are them because I either lean towards this more like mauvey pinky lip or a very, very nude neutral lip. And these are perfect. The ColourPop lip liners are exceptional because they are such good value. I purchased these in a bundle at Christmas time last year, which if they have those available, I highly recommend picking them up because they come with basically the whole spectrum of lip liners that you could ever possibly need. And honestly, you don't need anything else in your collection. You truly don't. They are very pigmented. They are creamy on the lips. They are not drying in any way, shape or form. They don't bleed. They stay put. These are my, probably my favorite ColourPop product. Now my next favorite lip liners are the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, which as I've just said, are dupes for, or the ColourPop ones are dupes for these. These are kind of newer to my collection, but I've been wearing them for the last like four, three or four weeks. And they're so beautiful. So I have Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude, and I'm going to show you with the ColourPop. So these are the ColourPop swatches. This is Iconic Nude and this is Pillow Talk. You can very, very barely tell the difference. So Charlotte Tilbury and ColourPop. These were, I think, I got them with 20% off, but I think these were around 40 Australian dollars each. They might actually be cheaper than that. That's expensive for a lip liner. That's why I like the ColourPop ones because they are a lot more affordable. However, these are a touch better than the ColourPop ones in my opinion. Remember, these are all just my opinions. We can all have different ones. These are just mine. Uh, I think these are slightly better. They're just a little bit more richer, a little bit more creamier. They go on nicer on the lips. They have a little bit more longer lasting power behind them. However, honestly, I'm like splitting hairs there. But these are, if you're someone that's a luxury makeup lover, you don't want to purchase ColourPop, you want something that's a bit more luxe, they're your friends. I, I actually would love to pick up more, more colors of these as well. And then my last lip liner, I only have the one shade in this lip liner, but this is a product that I 120% want to pick up more of these in the future. And it is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. This is in the color Muted Pink. It's probably very, very similar. Yeah, very, very similar to O Snap and, um, Pillow Talk. So this is the Huda Beauty one right here in muted pink. And then you've got Oh Snap and Pillow Talk. You can see I really have a thing for the same kind of colors here, but I really, really love this one. This one is probably my least favorite, but it's still a fave. You know, so when I'm going to compare it, 
I'm not saying that it's shit, you know what I'm saying? But this is a really good product, but I will say this is probably my least favorite just because it is that little bit more creamy. So it kind of does like move around a little bit more. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury, you can put on all day and it doesn't budge. This one is a little bit more emollient and will move slightly, but I love the way that this feels on the lips and it is so pigmented like that one swipe pigment. And I really, really, really like it. So Huda is honestly nailing it for me this year. I'm loving every product I'm trying of hers. They're just it's, it's, it's exceptional. In terms of lip liners, they are my favorite brands. I do have a couple of others, but they are my actual favorite brands. They are what I go to every single day and they are the colors. Like if, if I have to get rid of everything, I'm keeping those two colors. You can see the tones are all the same. <laughs> Okay, so that is lip liners. Now let's go ahead and move on to lipsticks. So my all-time favorite lipstick, this is like the one lipstick that you will pry from my cold, dead hands, is MAC Creme de Nude. So this is MAC Creme de Nude. It is a little bit gross and skanky because of the way that I, that I use it, but this is MAC Creme de Nude. I'll show you guys a swatch, and obviously I'll show you applying this to my lips as well. It is a very, very nude, pale nude, slightly peachy, but very, very pale nude shade. Now, the reason why this is my favorite is one, I love the formula. This is like a satin lipstick. It's very, very hydrating and comfortable on the lips, and it's very, very long wearing. It doesn't smear all over my face. The thing about my lipsticks is you have to be fuss free. If you're not a fuss free lip product for me, I am not going to wear you or like you because I want to be able to eat my lunch and know that you haven't gone all over my face and I look like a twat. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why Matte Creme de Nude is my all-time fave is because it is the shade that I can pair with any color, literally any color, red, pink, uh, nude, beige, whatever the hell the color is, I can pair with this and I can use it in the center of my lips to get that like more juicy, bigger lip effect. That is what this shade is for. I love it. If I lost it, I'd repurchase it. It's amazing. My second favorite lipstick formula, and I'm like these are the kind, these are the two first lip products I would repurchase if they were to go missing from my collection as well. This isn't a ranking, but it's naturally forming that way. But these two are after Mac Creme de Nude, my all-time fave, and it is the Huda Beauty uh, Cream Bullet Lipsticks. Babyface is hands down my favorite favorite lipstick of all time. It is a one and done lipstick shade. You don't need anything else to it. And yes, I know I've said Mac Creme de Nude is my fave, but like, like baby face is like just the all over. I don't need a lip liner, nothing like that. So this is the shade baby face right here. And this is Empress. Empress is kind of more leaning towards that like peachy nude, but this on the lips, it looks quite dark on the swatch, but when you see it on the lips, it is the most perfect, perfect nude. It is Oh, it is divine. The reason why baby face is so perfect for me is one, because it is like the perfect mix between like a nude, but also not too light. It doesn't look like foundation lips, but it adds the right amount of glamour to any look. It also matches every single makeup look that you can possibly think of. You can throw baby face on and it looks exceptional. I love it. Empress is also quite similar. If I pair it with a little bit of a darker lip liner and put Empress all over the lip, it plumps them up a lot, but it's also like this really, really beautiful neutral nudie color so that when I can really just pair it with any look any clothing anything and these two lipsticks are going to look good like I really feel like I only probably need these two in my collection and I could actually have nothing else they will match literally every occasion and I love that. So next up is Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes. These are new to my collection, but I have been using these for some time now. I've got a reel of me swatching all of these lip colors as well. These are exceptional because these are the most comfortable lipsticks. I mean, the Huda ones are a little bit more comfy, but these are, oof. And they're just, they're slightly different color nudes. When you swatch them, they honestly look very, very similar to each other. But when you put them on the lips, they actually turn out very, very different. But they're just a really, really good variant of nude lipsticks that like even comparing them to the Huda lipsticks, they're very different and they bring something different to the equation. So this one here is Runway Royalty. This one is Supermodel and this one is Coverstar. You can see the spectrum there. You've got like that more like brown 
tiny nude, a pinky nude, and then that peachy nude. So you can really utilize these in so many different looks. They look lovely on the lips. They're very, very, very long wearing on the lips, but they're very creamy. So they don't dry your lips out at all, but they also don't budge, which is great. So you can go and eat your lunch, go about your day. You don't really have to worry about it. I would really love to expand my Huda and my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection with a few more shades because I genuinely love those formulas quite a lot. Now we can't have a lipstick video without talking about our friend Pat and I do have a few of my favorite colors here. Now I don't have too many Pat lipsticks however what I will tell you about Pat lipsticks is wow wow are they pigmented and that's what I go to for Pat in in her lip products specifically. So Pat lipsticks aren't exactly a color that I would wear on the everyday. These are definitely more lipsticks I would go to for a more vampy or glam look. I certainly probably honestly wouldn't be wearing these at work and just kind of doing that whole like quick touch up and go with them. They they probably a little bit more high maintenance than that. But if you want the most pigmented lip color you can probably get, then you wanna get yourself some Pat McGrath lipsticks. Also, can we talk about the packaging? Because, um, look, look at this little heart and these lips. Her lipstick packaging is the best packaging, hands down. I adore them. Even the little lip minis here, like they're just very, very cutesy little kind of packaging. So highly recommend her for the packaging as well. Now, these are my top four favorite shades from her lip products that I currently have in my collection. So this lipstick right here is Omi and it's a very perfect kind of deep, almost mauve lip. Then we have Lady Stardust, which is like a really soft pinky kind of lip. We have Exec Executive Realness, which is like, oh, I guess you would call that like a plum, but not quite. And then this one is Elsin 2, which is like a really, really stunning, like vibrant red. That's the kind of like red undertone that I personally love. These are gorgeous, but these are one swipes pretty much, you guys. And like, you can just see they're crazy, crazy pigmented. Even like, I don't know if you can see, but like I swatched them before and like they're still staining on my hands and I've like washed my hands a heap of times. So they're very, 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 very pigmented, very creamy, very comfortable, but I'm not going to be putting these on, like I said, just in between as I go, like touching up my lips. I really need to be like looking in a mirror. I need a lip liner. They're just a little bit more high maintenance than the Charlotte Tilbury and the Huda Beauty ones, but they're still exceptional. So if you're someone that doesn't mind touching up your makeup throughout the day, but you really want that pigment and some unique colors, then Pat McGrath is your gal. You know what I'm saying? So I have two more brands that I want to do a little honorable mention for. The first one is Fenty Beauty. Now Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle sticks are, I'm not sure if these are going out of stock or they're like reformulating or bringing new ones out. I'm not sure what they're like on the Fenty Beauty website. I haven't had a look, but they seem to always be out of stock and on sale in the Sephora like Australia website. These are underrated lip products in my opinion. I don't feel like enough people talk about these because these are extremely, extremely pigmented. These are very, very similar formula to the Pat McGrath lipsticks. This color is in Spanked and this color is in Up To No Good. Spanked is hands down one of my all time favorite lipstick colors. It is, it's like this berry nude. It is stunning. It adds a little extra something to a lip. It's like on the verge of a berry red, but it's still very neutral and it is gorgeous. It looks, if you have like a really neutral face with that pop of lip color, it looks stunning. If you have more of like a bronzy eye with that lip color, it looks stunning. It's such a gorgeous color. And then up to no good is really, really lovely as that pop of color in the center of your lip for a darker neutral. It's really beautiful. So I don't know what's going on with these lip products. I hope that they're not getting rid of them because these are freaking, freaking good products. And the last lip product that I want to talk to you guys about is the Dior Rouge Graphist uh, lip pencils. I think that this is like a limited edition one. This is in Vibrant Nude, which is hilarious because this color is, it's not a nude in any way, shape or form. I personally love this color. I know a lot of you guys don't love this color, but on me, I really, really like it. It's a very, very cool tone, gray, almost purple kind of nude color. And I know that a lot of you are like, that gonna make me look dead if I wear that. But on my skin tone, it looks really, really nice. But this formula, this formula and this kind of style, you guys, is amazing. So I recommend this product even in the other shades. It is a super comfortable, super creamy, super wearable formula. But because it is in this like pencil shape, it's so easy. You don't need a lip liner or anything to put on. It's very, very comfortable. It's definitely like an on the go kind of lip product. 
I really, 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 really like this style of lip product. I mean, I personally love this shade. I know a lot of you guys would probably prefer it in other shades. But yeah, if you love your lip products and you haven't tried these before, give them a go because I really, really love the way that this goes on my lips and how easy it is to use. So that wraps up my favorite lipsticks and lip liners. Now it's over to you. What is your favorite? favorite lipstick and lipstick shade? Tell me. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know. So let me know what your favorite lipstick is. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful or just fun to watch in some way. Let me know if you want more videos like this. And uh, let's wrap this up. So if you are still watching till this point, I appreciate you so, so much. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye. The color pop lip. Come on. Come on. Come on. Graphist. Graphist? Graphist. Graphist. Like, rouge. Oh my god, I can't say this. Blah.